uh, Reviewer TV. I'm here with Randy Dybel in Ocean Beach and uh, we're doing a little video interview with him uh, at his, uh, this is a, a booth I guess you could say in front of BK Printing on, on Newport, right? You've got, you've got your, your photos set up uh, and we were talking a second ago before I, before I turned on the video about your history, your family history, how your, your grandfather was a photographer, a big photographer. If, if we can go over yeah, and take yeah, a look at some of the stuff. He was a photographer store uh, from 1925 to 1945. A, a Sora studio? Yeah, on 6th Avenue. Wow, here and, in San Diego. Uh, he developed a film and he also sold cameras. Um, so he had access to the best equipment. Um, and uh, basically uh, people would bring their black and white film in, he would develop them, but they would ask, to, ask them to, to hand tint them. So my grandmother, my mother, my aunt, they would stay up all night hand tinting photos, uh, you know, back in the old days, went before color. And this was uh, your grandfather, uh, what was his name? Robert Thompson. Robert Thompson, yeah. okay. It's uh, this guy right here. And then these, these guys would help him hand tint photographs all night. Is that his People. wife and kids? Yeah, they would colorize their photos. One of those your mom? That's my mom. Okay. That's my aunt, that's my grandmother. Very cool. Yeah. The, the first opening day of the racetrack at the, at the Del Mar yeah, racetrack? Yeah, uh, first opening day of Del Mar racetrack, 1935. And there was a photo that I saw online that you had posted of President Roosevelt in uh, Balboa right, Park. Yeah, uh, Balboa Park. And yeah. there was like a couple of uh, Secret Service agents on the runner of this right, really right. fancy car and stuff. And yeah, and, and, and and your grandfather yeah, not, got a shot? Here. I don't have that one here. Okay, but your, your grandfather obviously was the one who took that photo. Right. And here's your here's your photos. You were, uh, at, at one time, I, I knew you, first knew about you through your name. I saw your name in print in either a surfing magazine or a surfer magazine or Breakout. Right. Um, you were you were like you were you were very proficient, prolific at that time, um, and uh, I was always wow, man, the composition uh, of these photos always impressed me. And back then, I would look at them and go, you know, that's that's the life. That that is the surfing life. That is a representation of the real life of. Uh, a surfer, um, but your your grandfather never taught you this. He no, no, you, you didn't have never, any contact. He never mentioned that he was a photographer. You didn't even know I that he was a photographer. It. I didn't know it. But then, then, then I also uh, on the other side of my family, on the Dival side, uh, I, I got my whole family photo album from them. And so this is my uh, earlier than my grandfather's photos. Here's La Jolla Cove, that's my grandmother. Uh -huh. She raised me, my grandmother died when I was two, so she, she raised me when I was two years old. This was all by Grandpa Thompson. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, and that's my grandfather, La Jolla Cove, but on the other side, that's Dival. That's, a, that's uh, and then here they are. So these photos were not taken by gr no, your grandfather? No, 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 okay. these were taken by the other side of my family. So these are all mixed, mixed photos from both sides of the family, but everyone has got my relatives in there. Back in there's, before there's, uh, Mission Beach, my grandmother in Mission Beach, 1919, when the boardwalk was made out of boards. There's my grandmother and grandfather under the boardwalk. And back then, cameras were not exactly as big as they are now. You know, it was, it was kind of uncommon to have a, a camera, and even more uncommon well, actually, to got, do your yeah, own. Photography got really popular uh, around uh, after the turn of the century. Everybody yeah. had a, yeah, a camera. They wanted to start taking photos. You know, had a, a Kodak. And, you know, they had a waist level viewfinder and, uh, and uh, everybody had a brownie and people started taking photos. I mean, before before 1900s, yeah, photography wasn't existent and then it just developed and everybody, it was state of the art. How but it, both how sides... A, a camera and to go to the beach and take photos and to do whatever you do and take photos. But it's certainly not as common as now as everybody's got a camera in their pocket. I mean, well, back then, your not. both sides of your family were kind of early adopters of right. photography, the, the photographic yeah. arts. Well, I mean, you could buy a, a, a brownie camera for what, mm. uh, $2.30. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> well, Something like that. That was probably a not day's wages. Money. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, but I'm really interested in, in how how your, your talent, you obviously have a, a hell of a lot of talent as a photographer, how it might have been 
adopted through osmosis or rubbed off from was there any uh, exposure that you had I don't know, to in my genes I know really <laughs> it came it was in your blood obviously but you never you, you were never spoken to about your about it with no, your grandpa not at all. he never said hey you should no. shoot photos do you maybe this way no, or what about your, your parents the way it developed is I used to surf How? longboard uh, circuit and uh, you know I was always uh, on the circuit but I was always getting disqualified early on in in the, in the heat you know, so I'd be on the sidelines, I'd start taking pictures of my friends, and uh, and then it just, all of a sudden I just started doing surf photography, so yeah, yeah. I started shooting longboarders, and, and uh, next thing you know, I was shooting shortboarders, and then I started traveling to Mexico and Hawaii, and, and shooting uh, shooting surfers, and then, uh, and then uh, out of my travels, I would uh, shoot all kinds of lineup shots and surfers, and, and, and I realized that when uh, I sent my photos off to Surfer Magazine or Surfing, that if you sent a batch of slides to them, they would they would take three or four months to go through them and pick one or two out. So then I, I discovered that if I wrote an article and sent a batch of like 50 slides, they'd use 40, 40 or 50 slides, you know, in an article. So that, would they print your article too? Print the article. Yeah. So you get paid for the article and the photo. Oh, yeah, yeah. So no money. I'd get a whole bunch of photos. Printed and and, and uh, uh, my shabby writing was published too. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. Anyhow, and I just developed into uh, an addiction. Uh, I was addicted to film. Didn't yeah. Get film. I, I I used one of your images in the very first issue of Reviewer magazine in 1996. Do you do you recall? It was a collage with. Uh, Abraham Lincoln in uh, uh, Flying Saucer. Oh, yeah, I, I was TV over here. Girl. I have that one. You have that shit? Yeah, yeah I have that one. Let's take a look. Because <laughs> you, you, you didn't ask for a penny for that. You you were very generous, I thought. And and that was like that was like on the inside front cover of the first yeah, issue. Yeah, it was worth that. Thing. And I was like, oh, still. Because when, when, when it came out, when Reviewer Magazine came out in 1996, the, uh, the, the Republican... Um, convention was in town, and that was I was like, yeah. that was, here, I got it, I got it. That was, that was the uh, summer. Wait, that's not it. Wrong that's one. not it. Um, where is it? That must be over here. Tons of, tons of stuff here. 1996 uh, was when the first issue here, came I out, here I just saw it a and I ago. needed something good. And I think I saw you through the Horton Style it. Office. <laughs> that's right. There it is. Yes. <laughs> That was, a, that was before Photoshop, so... You're right, that was all cut and yeah, paste. Yeah, basically it was kind of, we cut out, we held up a little flying saucer in our hands, took a picture of that, took a picture of some surf rack. Then you cut it out a with a the pair of scissors. Lincoln, I cut him out, Yeah. I took a picture of Crystal Pure, this, it all together. <laughs> this is more low res though, because you can really see Lincoln really clearly in the picture yeah. that, that is in, uh, in, yeah, in, in Reviewer. Before Photoshop. That's right. I'm not a Photoshop guy, I mean, that's, that's, right. that's all I do. <laughs> Right there. But when you first started shooting photos, like, what was what was your real other than other than wanting to get published, other than wanting to occupy yourself at you know during um, downtime at, at a surf contest? What really got you into the art? I mean, was was it just photography was a way to be more involved in the scene? I don't know. Were you just wanting to be other creative? artists? I don't know what what, what makes me tick. I just, I just do it, you know. And, and plus, when I, when I'm shooting surf photos, I get I'm surfing along with everybody else, so I'm pretty surfed out after I shoot a session. <laughs> it's a competitive business. Yeah, you know, it's fun. You know, it's, it's like I, I see everybody's tube, you know, I you know, I, and I'm with them close up in the tube, uh, you know. It's like I'm there with everybody who's surfing, and I get to to be with. Who's this? Is this uh, is that's this your? A, that's my. That's my my grandfather. Which one? Grandfather Dybul, and that's my grandfather. That's my grandmother Harriet. So that's the lady who raised me. This is this is the Mission Beach Boardwalk when it was made out of boards. Oh and yeah. That, this is before. This is 1919 before Belmont Park was built. So this is where this would be where Belmont Park was. It was built six years later. That's funny. Back like 30 years ago, I lived in Mission Beach, and I was wondering why they called it the Boardwalk because it was made out of concrete. Right. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. Which one? Which one is, is the other uh, grandfather that came from so Chicago? This is my other grandfather. He, he came my from Chicago. Who's a photographer also? He's from yeah, Chicago. So is, yeah. And you said he came out here to 
to get out of the scene with uh, Al Capone. All right, and then basically this is my grandfather over here, my great grandfather. He was in Al Capone's gang. He right was in, he was in, yeah, he was in Al Capone's gang yeah. for real? I never knew that. You never, yeah. you never said yeah. that uh, yeah. on any on any of your yeah. your Facebook yeah. posts. And then this, is, this is my other grandfather. This is in Mission Valley. This is a uh, Sweeney, my grand my my grandmother's father, and that's my great grandmother over here in, in Mission oh, Valley. Yeah, Mission that's, that's the Hall. mission. Wow, look at how yeah. old it is. I mean, how broken down it is. It's been restored now. Yeah, and then here's Probably my other grandmother. Who raised me drinking out of the boardwalk? That's where I started doing that. That's why I started doing that because my grandmother taught me how to do that. Starting to do that. <laughs> <laughs> got, you got some good instruction there on how to drink under the boardwalk. <laughs> We well, can't get under the boardwalk now, but, but tell me, tell me more about your grandpa uh, that came from Chicago. He came out here because he wanted to get out of Al Capone's gang for well, real. Well, he might, yeah. Well, basically, it was, he wanted to, he wanted to uh, see the West. And, okay. Uh, basically, California was just, uh, it was kind of a. All uh, people thought it was just Mexicans like in California, and, and when they lived in Chicago, they thought it was California, yeah. San Diego is just a Mexican place, and you know he just right he wanted to explore. He wanted to see the whole. United States, he, and he st went to California. He wanted to go to California, well, you're explore with all of California. This is 1927, 20, okay. no, 20, 1925. Okay. He came out here, um, and they got a place. They, they got a place, and they had babies. My mom and, and her Loma. sister, and and uh, then they just start exploring, and then they so basically then they start exploring California. So here's Tahoe, uh, here's uh, Arizona. I worked here. This is a uh, Yuma Territorial Prison. Here we are down here, cruising around, and they, they start driving his car anywhere he can go. Is that a Model T or Model A? What is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that's a Model whatever. Old Ford. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. But, and so yeah, you, they, they you took said that, that car all over, and then they, and then they started fishing and and camping, and they, they camped everywhere. And you said yeah. that Al Capone followed your grandpa out here. Yeah, and started out going car and they, and they, and they basically. Moved in with them. They lived down the street. That's, who did? My great grandfather. He, he came out here. He moved here permanently. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's so this is my other grand. This is my grandfather, Dival, and his and my other grand, uh, great, my great grandfather. And that's uh, their 1914 kind of, bear cat. What kind of a fur coat is that? <laughs> that Probably beaver. I don't know. That's something pretty plush. Yeah. Man. So here's a, here in Mexico, when you can cross the border in 1929, that's my mom, that's my grandmother, my aunt, and you just would walk across the border and there'd be one guy there and you could ask him instructions. No federales. No, there was no guns. No nothing. customs. They were just you friendly, could, you know, back and forth travel. And back during uh, Prohibition, you could walk you, across you could the border. all day. Plenty of uh, yeah, liquor and, and stuff. Yeah, they didn't Prohibition, so down, down here. Yeah, so here they are with, with Prohibition. Yeah, they would go take a road trip to Ensenada, and uh, all the boys would go down the casino. Oh, they're down there with liquor. Oh, yeah, yeah they'd go down there and get drunk and, and have a good old time, and, and they'd go to the casino. And, but it's legal down there, yeah. so they could do it. Wow. Do you have a favorite uh, surfing panorama shot that you can show us? <laughs> they're all the favorite. favorite. <laughs> they're, they're, it's, like, it's like choosing your favorite kid. Uh, my favorite? Uh, you know, I mean, one of the that's Ralph's. Ralph, San Diego. Look at that point, man. That's in a, it's yeah. hard to access. Um, yeah, this is a favorite. Ever. I don't like this one. That is nice. Oh, oh wow. Take it from the Hyatt Hotel. Mission Beach. Look yeah. at that. That's like that's, that's almost wedging. Yeah, it's taken from the uh, 17th floor of the uh, Hyatt Hotel. Really? If you go up there and, and wait outside the door, there's a free buffet for guests. So when you wait for a guest to use her card key and go in, you can follow them in and have free food and check out the, the view. <laughs> <laughs> and if the soil is pumped, you can get a great shot. Exactly. That's amazing. That yeah, is great. This, this is the one that kind of matches with it right over here. Yeah. This was this taken from the same That's view. insane. That's, 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 Beach, that's, the, that's the other side of That's the other yeah. side of the river. Uh -huh. And were they on the same day or no? No, two different days. Yeah. I, I, went, different there quite, I went there quite a bit. You know, I went up to the, that room. And then I finally got caught. Uh, the security came he up there. He had you sneaky, huh? <laughs> yeah. And they escorted me out of the hotel and told me never to come back. <laughs> really? Nice. Yeah. 
But you got some great photos of yeah. it. That's, that's insane because I've never seen that image. I've never seen that angle before. I've never seen that panorama shot, and I always wondered yeah. how you did it. Yeah. You know? That's Here's another favorite. I like this one here. What's that? Downtown San Diego. Whoa. Yeah. This yeah. Is, this is a silver strand. Is that with your 540 lens? You said uh, you use a 540 for that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And so and, there's, a, there's a little jetty that's in front of the, the YMCA camp. Uh-huh. And down there uh, it's right at Silver Strand. And if you walk around that jetty, you can get the view of downtown, the Coronado Bridge. And when the waves are pumping, you know, you can get the waves in there. In front of the YMCA camp? Yeah. So that's way down south. South uh -huh. of the yeah, front yeah, of, okay. like north of North, north IB. Really? Yeah. So you can you can get the the waves and, and somehow bend around and I, yeah, I, I yeah, still the, can't picture the, how you the, get the, that the angle. Whole, San Diego's coastline bends so much that you can get so many unique angles. And Coronado is you know, my favorite place because of all the angles, you know, looking west, east, you know, south. That's unusual. I've never seen anybody else get that. That's pretty good. Yeah. How did you find when did you first discover that? Um, you know, I just started looking, you know, and I, and I checked that jetty out and there's good waves there. I mean, there's a left, there's right, and all of a sudden you can see downtown, I just start shooting. Yeah, I explore. I go around, I explore, looking for... These need to be in a book. I remember this photo. I saw this photo, because when yeah, I was a little kid, that's, that's an a, old... That's January 18th, 1988, that's a, a giant wave, it's just one giant wave, 9.30 a.m. destroyed all the houses. Were you just there for rocks. peak high tide? Did you know it was going to be gnarly? And were, were you waiting for it? Basically, um, my friend and I, Bear, were riding in the alley. Bear Mirandon? No, Bear, Bear Kelly. Okay. <laughs> From Mission Beach. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. not the way. Bear Kelly. So we were riding down the alley, and uh, I, I saw this wall of water coming coming way way higher than I've ever seen it from the alley. And I knew it was going to be a big, big wave. So I snapped one shot and turned my bike around and rode as fast as I could to try to keep my camera dry. I rode all the way to the bay side in Mission Beach, across the boulevard, Mission Boulevard, as the wave chased me. Whoa. And the wave finally subsided on the bay side. I turned around, I on came back around. So across came, Mission Boulevard? It went across Mission Boulevard, all the way to the school across the street. And then and then I came back around. School is not there my anymore. my friend Bear, his bike was way over here. He was way over there. These guys were underwater, and these guys, you can see their hair floating above the seaweed. We went and helped them up. They were underwater, they, don't, they were almost drowned. And uh, the lady that lived next door to me in her house, the wave went through her front wall, washed her grand piano through the wall into the alley, and, wow. and filled her whole house full of seaweed. That was a 9.30 wave. Yeah, a lot of people must have gotten their yeah. front, their boardwalk property destroyed. I saw, I saw this postcard all over Mission Beach. I remember that, yeah. yeah. So I still have this postcard since 1988 and I've been selling this all over, the, I still have a bunch. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing that when I lived in yeah. the, over at Hub Liquor. Yeah. They'd, oh. have it, they'd have it behind yeah. the counter at Hub Liquor. Right, yeah. yeah. I, sold, I sold all the uh, liquor stores and, and boutiques down there. Uh, Working, yeah. uh, the, 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 the publishing business just is not what it used to be. I mean, there's like no magazines for as long as it comes to surfing anymore, huh? Like when when the waves come, uh, like on the sixth of January this year, and you get awesome photos. Where's right. the market for that? What can you do with them? Well, I'm still I'm still in cahoots with Ocean Magazine. That's oh, a yeah. local San Diego magazine. Very so, good. They do a good Robert job. Robert Wall's a really good friend of mine. So we we st I still do stuff with him. Uh, every but it's month. not the big money anymore. But it's just it's just a local magazine. Yeah. And uh, the only other uh, surfer magazine, surfing, they went under, and uh, That's only right. magazine left is Surfer Journal. Yep, no. Steve Pesman, he's still cranking, huh? Yeah, not Pesman anymore. No? No, uh, new publisher. Um, okay. And tracks over, in, uh, and did you ever do business with any of the Australian magazines at all? Uh, I did uh, Surfing World Australia. I did an article for them in 1991. Okay. On, on Mexico, yeah, published down there. All these I did some Japanese magazines and some French magazines. All these great but, images and history and stuff should be in a book or something, don't you think? I mean, could be. We, I, you know, could we, be. You, you can combine I'm, them somehow. I'm, your your dad, your you grandpa's know, images and yours. I've got, I got a limited time. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Don't we all? I hear you. I hear you. That's what I'm saying. You should get but out. Also, of here. also, there's also the book on uh, my grandfather's work. 
uh, my grandfather's work. You're getting a and book? We're, or we're, you, yeah, me, there is me a and book. my sons are helping. They're helping me, and uh, we're going to publish a work of his photos, his nice. world travels, Your uh, grandpa. and his story. The book was already written. My grandmother wrote the book in 1971. Oh man, I'd love so to get a review a copy of that. Yeah. I would love to review yeah, that. Yeah, so That'd it, be awesome. it's basically it's a tribute. So I have a lot of this information from that book. When will that be my, printed, do you think? When, when we get around to it. <laughs> I hear Yeah. I got a lot of irons in the fire. Well, man, if you ever need any help, you let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Right this on. is some stuff that needs to be out there, I think, in a big way. Yeah. Right on, Randy. Thanks, man. Yeah.